This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump releases his plan for Second Amendment. Leaves millions furious. One common criticism of billionaire businessman and president-elect Donald Trump is that he far too often speaks in vague generalities and rarely offers specifics about where he stands on the issues. That is no longer the case, at least regarding his stance on gun rights and the Second Amendment, after Trump released his official policy position on his campaign website. The Second Amendment to our Constitution is clear. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed upon. Period, the position paper began. Trump went on to explain that the right to keep and bear arms is a right that pre-exists both the government and the Constitution, noting that government didn't create the right, nor can it take it away. He also rightly denoted the Second Amendment as America's first freedom, pointing out that it helps protect all of the other rights we hold dear. In order to protect and defend that right, Trump proposed tougher enforcement of laws that are already on the books, rather than adding new gun control laws. Citing a successful program in Richmond, Virginia, that sentenced gun criminals to mandatory minimum five-year sentences in federal prison, Trump noted that crime rates will fall dramatically when criminals are taken off the streets for lengthy periods of time. Trump also proposed strengthening and expanding laws allowing law-abiding gun owners to defend themselves from criminals using their own guns, without fear of repercussion from the government. Noting that many of the recent high-profile shooters had clear mental problems that should have been addressed, Trump proposed fixing our nation's broken mental health system by increasing treatment opportunities for the non-violent mentally ill, but removing from the streets those people who pose a danger to themselves and others. Trump would do away with pointless and ineffective gun and magazine bans and suggested fixing the current background check system already in place, rather than expanding a broken system. Furthermore, Trump proposed a national right to carry, a national concealed carry reciprocity law that would compel states to recognize the concealed carry permits of any other state, exactly as driver's licenses from anywhere are accepted by all states today. Finally, Trump would lift the prohibition on military members carrying weapons on military bases and in recruiting centers, allowing trained military members to carry weapons to protect themselves from attacks by terrorists, criminals and the mentally unstable, as we have seen recently. Trump's bold and fearless defense of the Second Amendment turned him the coveted endorsement of the National Rifle Association. His warning that Hillary Clinton wanted to abolish the Second Amendment sounded the alarm to millions of constitution-loving patriots who wanted their rights protected. Those who cherish our right to keep and bear arms should be pleased by Trump's stated position on the Second Amendment. Of course, liberal anti-gunners will hate this, but their opinion on the matter is of little concern to us people of the gun, of which Donald Trump is apparently one. Please share this on Facebook and Twitter to help spread Donald Trump's official policy position on the Second Amendment and our right to keep and bear arms. Do you agree with Donald Trump's position? This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.